hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to continue from where i stopped and complete the last logo out of my three-part series so in my last previous videos i showed you how i designed professional logos for my clients and in today's video i'm also going to do that with one of the recently completed tags i did so without wasting much time let's jump right into it if you are new here on my channel i post about graphics designing and how to make money as a graphics designer so if you want more of those content please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon so you always be the first to know when i post a video so with that out of the way let's get started okay before now i just set the image size to be um youtube thumbnail so that i'll have more room to work on okay next up i'm going to write the name of the brand then from there i'll continue designing the name of the brand is backroomtech.com which is a tech, tech log a website a colleague is working on so I'm just going to put this aside, then I'll import another tool as well. Okay, I'm going to import a color palette. Like I said, if the brand you're designing for doesn't have a color palette in mind, if they don't have a color palette in mind, you can do the work for them by resetting colors that relate to the brand they are designing for. So for this, I use this green and silver color. Okay, I'm going to start designing the icon first before adding the text. One of my subscribers asked, um, said something about me always using font navies. That's because it's professional and it's free to use. But in this video, I'm going to prove him wrong by using a different font. So the font I'm using is Arial PD. I'll put a link to my video on how to install custom fonts in the description section of this video. So you can check that to learn how to install fonts. Okay, I'm just trying to form an icon for this brand and the concept I'm using is be with without the other downside because I want to use that to make another shape as well. So after that I'll add another box shape. I'll actually convert it to a rectangle. Something I can use above here. Then I'll change the color to be black. After this, I'll duplicate a few of these, then use for joining this shape together. I'm 
The reason I'm adding this white shape is because I want to form this shape, this dark shape you are seeing and I need to erase the colors before I can do that. So like I said, you can download icons from Google and you can also form your icons. In this video, I'm going to I'm forming the icons I need for the brand. So I'm going to erase color to get the main colors I want. Okay, as you can see, once you look at this, once you look at this shape here, you can see there are still, still traces of the white background on this. And in order to remove it, I'm going to add an empty layer I get asked a lot of times why I add this so as you can see this shape is not complete here once you apply a texture to it it will overflow so to remove it I want to highlight the shape then join together as you can see I have my shape icon and whatever color or texture I apply to it it will retain it so I think I'm done with this then I can just bring this over here and add the text I'll put a link to download all the resources I used in this video. So I'm going to add the letter space in a bit, then reduce the font size for this, make it to be around. I think 40 is okay for this. I will increase this to maybe 80. And then this I will extend so that it spans the entire width of my main text. I think I'm going to reduce it a bit. Okay, I'm done with this. It's just to apply colors to it, then apply my mock-up. As you can see, I kept this really simple. Um, a, a little disclaimer, this is not exactly what I designed for my client. I had to remove some features I added just for the sake of this video. Okay, for the colors, I'm going to activate it and um, I want to use a gradient for it. Then I'll use the color picker and um, choose my colors. So for this, I'll use this. use the color picker and um, select the light color ok 
Okay, next up, I want to use the colors, change the colors for this. For this, I um, I'm going to use the color picker again. Then choose one of these. I want to use two different colors for the text. Okay, for this, I'm going to use light color as well. The reason I'm using bright colors is because the mock-up I intend using is a dark mock-up. So I want my text to be showing. If you are using a light mock-up, you use dark colors for your text and vice versa. Okay, I'm just going to use one of the colors I've picked. Okay, I have my colors now and I can merge on my shape together. It's also good to um, save as you work so that when you need to make any change, you don't have to begin afresh. So you can save it as a project so you can always come back to that point in time where you saved it. So now I'm going to import a background from my gallery. So this is the background I intend to use. I'm just going to import it. Then I will apply some effects to it. Um, Pixel Lab is there is an error on Pixel Lab if you are using from Android 10 upwards. The emboss tool is not that effective, but you can always drag until you bring it up as you can see in my case i had to extend it before it worked so i'll just complete the settings for this then save next up i'll apply 3d shape to it set the depth to one and then i want to make this a bit darker then lastly, I will change, rotate the y-axis to about 27 or so. That's to give it this 3D shape like. I will apply shadows to it. Set the offset to minus 3 and plus 2. Okay, with that, I think I'm done with this. All I have to do now is save as an image. After sending it to the client, the client can make any changes to it. If he doesn't like how it looks, you can make changes to it. But once you do your work well, I believe they are supposed to like it. So I think that's it. And I've saved this. If you are designing for a client, after saving, you just send them a mock-up along with the plain logo for them as well. So I hope this guide has shown you how to design for clients. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to make money as a graphics designer five platforms you can apply for freelance graphics design work so if you are excited about that video do well to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one